They got them soft spots too, and you just got to know how to read it and how to also find it, okay? And once you get it, you will have no issues with that man, okay? That man will be right there in the palm of your hand because you're a good girl, okay? You're a good woman. Like, literally, we all got something to offer. And no man is taking time to even see what we actually have to offer, okay? They just in it to win it for one thing or whatever, you know? Like I said, you got her for this, her for this, and her for that. Don't make yourself so available to that, and that way you won't get played, okay? So today we are going to discuss, okay, how do we know if he's the one, okay? So first and foremost, my honeys, you know, this generation of men, and I'm not even going to say this generation of men, I'm going to say this generation in general is so screwed up. Like, I don't know what's going on and why it's going on, but it's you got the internet taking a toll on everything, you got um music taking a toll on everything everybody seems to just be listening and following after what they see and what they hear so that means that no one is actually giving real love or has real love to offer or anything like that because it's really all about the lay you know what i mean the lay and if you have not already, my honeys, be sure to subscribe, okay, like, and share this video because it's very, very informative, okay? And also, make sure y'all go check out my Instagram, which I will leave below and also somewhere on the screen. And don't forget also to go and check out the website for your lashes, your bonnets, okay? We have the notebooks and the ink pens. So you can write down this tea because when I come, I come to spill, my honeys, and I give it to you raw, dirty, and uncut. So, with that being said, you don't want to miss out on these pointers that I'm about to give you in this video, okay? So, if you are interested in knowing how he is not for you, keep on watching. The first way we know if he's not into us, my honeys, is if he constantly asks you for stuff, okay? You're a meal ticket. Don't come around me and I've only known you for a week or two. Maybe now we're going a month or two strong. But the whole time you have always had your hand out. Like, what type of guy is you to come into my home, okay? Especially if I have children, if I got a whole household with bills. Don't come into my home asking me for anything. Like, no, I don't got it for you. And if that man is always asking you for money and asking you for stuff and this and that. And you was you know, at first like, okay, here you go, here you go. Because you thought that that would have made something strong later down the line. And here it is a week or two, like, and nothing, and he's still begging. Now's the time to start acting like you don't have it. Oh, I just paid my rent, babe. Damn, babe, I just paid my car note. Da -da 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 -da. You know, whatever. But it's always got to be something that you have just paid or done pertaining to your home. You're asking me for money, and I got a whole demonstration going on. I don't have money to pay you and my household. Sorry. If that man don't help you out. Now knowing, because you done told him 10 times, I just paid the rent, I just paid the car, no, I just paid the lights, I just paid the gas. If he was counting, that's about 10 good bills, right? Now, next month hit, well, damn, babe, you been looking out for me. Here go, uh, <laughs> if that man ain't done looked out for you back or something like that or, you know what I'm saying? Because men, they, our men do need us sometimes, and I ain't saying don't ever give a man nothing. Our men do need us sometimes to even get back on their feet or however, whenever, but you can tell, you can read that, and you can see, like, no, nah, he's a user. Ain't no get on your feet, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, coming to the gate broke, my honeys. Like, coming to the gate barely having it, okay? And they won't ask you for nothing. Like, if you come in there trying to drive the BMW and try to have on the bling bling and the red bottoms and all of that, yeah, you a meal ticket. And see if he start helping you. And see if he still there and still want to be involved with you now that he's cut off. <laughs> cut him off. <laughs> Now, you got them one guys that's out there that's just, you know, y'all you, have conversations. Now, you ain't no dummy. So, if something ain't right and something doesn't feel right and you sit there and you question him about it and he puts it off on you and make you feel wrong, oh, yeah, he ain't for you, honey, because guess what? We ain't communicating. 
Okay, this is a one-ended thing. Like you, every time I bring up an issue that we could solve or should be solving, you're making me feel like I did something wrong. The only reason you did it is because I did this or said that. It doesn't work like that. Because the women has feelings, but guess what? Them men have feelings just as women's do. And I think that their feelings is way worse than women's, honestly. So if a man is really into you, he is going to take the time to talk to you and make sure you're comfortable and make sure your mind is at ease, okay? But if he's babbling on and making you feel wrong on a concern that you're giving him, you know, something isn't right, babe. I didn't like how you didn't answer your phone. Like, you know, well, I did. And, 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 and you know, if he's coming up with excuses and making it like you had something to do with that. No, I didn't have anything to do with you not answering your phone or et cetera, you know, but you always come in with excuses. Like I'm the bad guy. Oh, okay. That's a sign my honey's that he's not the one. So third of all, okay, my honey, he's not the one if he's sitting around here making you feel insecure, okay? If he's sitting around here and, you know, men get jealous of they women, and that's kind of something that you would want to see. If your man ain't worried about what you're doing and how you're doing it, he's definitely not the one, okay? Like, as women, we so worried about a man's phone. Stay out them phones, my honeys, because that's what's going to hurt you, okay? But anywho, we so worried about a man's phone. We so worried about, uh, you know, map quests, how long you took to get theirs and all this and that. Them men should be worried it's about you as well. Guess what? Them is called feelings, okay? And guess what? If you got to worry that much about why is he not here, why hasn't he called, and he ain't the one anyway. But on top of that, he want to worry about the same thing with you. And if he's not worried about that... He's not the one because that means he's got too much to do all day instead of just worry about you, okay? So, he puts you in a little piece of his day just like he does everybody else that he's dealing with, okay? So, if you're thinking that you're the only one, you're not. So, guess what? If you would like to be the only one to that man, he ain't the one. After I had KJ, um, his dad, right? Me and KJ's dad never had a relationship. I've known KJ's dad back when he was 18 and I was 21. But here it is, 10 years later, me and this guy had a baby together. So, yeah, that, we're friends, right? I'm cool with that. Let's just be friends, have this baby, and co-parent, take care of this kid because we homies. We cool, right? So, now it's like soon I had had the baby and all. He would come over here and be like, uh-huh, ooh, you skinny and... You think somebody gonna want you with no ass and just dogging me like why are you even judging my appearance what I got going on who's gonna want me at the end of the day you're not my man so it should not concern you of any of that and guess what I could walk out in that street taking my son to the doctor or walking up the street to the store and all the men were surely on me so I wasn't letting that bother me my honeys but that man surely did he came in here every day with something to say as far as trying to make me feel insecure that's usually what a man would do and if a man is sitting there doing that to you my honey he is not the one because he does not want you to fall for anybody else he wants you to be think that you're stuck with him and he's the only one dealing with you listen i had a baby with you that does not justify anything okay so huh and y'all know my honeys know i'm very strong i'd have been through some stuff my house burned down okay <laughs> i was homeless okay Y'all know exactly what I have been through. Do you think I'm about to let little stuff like that bother me? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I can't let nothing that these men do affect me. Because guess what? I have been through a lot. And if you took that chance to mess everything up for you to lose me, that's on you. Goodbye. Guess what? You ain't got to worry about me. I don't call your phone no more. I don't stalk you. I don't do none of that. I'm good. And guess what? You always come running back. Always. And now at this point, I'm going to make a decision if I want to dub back on you or not. And 9 out of 10, I don't. It's like I'm cool on you. I don't had you. You know? So, baby daddy, you fit that category. Like, sorry. Cool on you. I don't had you. I had a baby with you and I did not show emotion to you. I did not show you that I cared about you and I wanted to be with you. And, 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 and I never did that with you. And I must say, I probably have to apologize because the way you're acting is like... I uh, divorced you or something. It's like I left you or I cheated on you or something. We're not together. Here we go two years later. And it's been an ongoing thing. Ongoing. I don't care if he coming here and 
Yeah, you know, I got eczema and stuff. He has something to say about it. Like, dang, your feet ashy. And it's just something to say. But you got eczema too and your legs are spotty. Like, you know, it doesn't matter. Anything they can do to make you feel less of a woman or less of pretty or less of that, they ain't, they ain't no um five star, right? But they don't care. They think they the world versus this female. We could just crush her little feelings by telling her one little thing. You couldn't do that to me, so next. So now it was like, okay, well, if you feel like I'm ashy and you feel like I ain't going to get a man because my butt is flat and this kind of third. What is the point of you being angry when I have company over here? Or when you see me out at the bar in a, in a man's face? Why do you get angry? Nobody would have wanted me though, right? Now you don't see your son. <laughs> I ain't got no mercy for no man about hoodies. I don't care, baby daddy or not. It took me 17 years to have a baby to go through this. I'm going to keep it pushing, okay? We are very happy over here. We ain't worried about that. I ain't that baby mama that's going to be sad and mad about none of that. I don't care. I wanted my son. I really did. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought I was having it with my friend. Not my jealous boyfriend. Not my uh, ex-husbands. None of that. My friend. Okay, so that's something that you must have seen and forgot, baby daddy. We are friends and we're friends. We've never been together. So don't worry about what I do. Because I'm not worried about nothing that you got going on, community. Fourthly, my honeys, you know, uh, you know he's not the one if he cannot explain why he had things going on, what he had going on, and when he had them going on. So if your curiosities was just sitting there like, oh, okay, so uh, why was your car over here, but you was over there? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I was with the homies and da 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 Oh, okay, so what time did you actually have your car there? And then, you know, when you get to going deep into these questions, because some women are detectives, okay? So once you get to going deep in on it, and he can't answer these questions right and properly, and this, 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 and that, guess what? He's guilty. Ain't that what the justice system says? You know, when they got you in that room on First 48 recording you and you can't answer when, what, why, and all that how stuff, you're guilty. So you're guilty of something. I may not know what it is because you're not trying to elaborate on it. But you are guilty of something and you may not be for me because guess what? My feelings is not about to be crushed when I do find out whatever it is, okay? If at the beginning you just telling me stuff to just get me out of your hair and get me to shut up you know what i'm saying but i know that these are not facts and i know that you're not being truthful with me he's not the one that's something that's gonna bite you in the butt later my honeys and that means that he's toxic fifthly my honeys okay if your dude tell you something is going on let's say he was trying to tell you something to make up for what happened yesterday or whatever he had a whole story planned out like okay this is what i'm gonna tell babe and you went for it, okay? You went for it. Like, okay, babe, it's cool. Just don't let it happen again. All of that, right? And then a couple days go by, you know, and then you go around him and his peoples and all this and that, and the story comes up, okay? But it was nothing of what he said, how it went, right? <laughs> so now you just probably in the peace side or, you know, sitting at the table like, he said, oh, so that never happened. You putting all this together, right? You're, you're putting this puzzle, these pieces into the puzzle together. So then you guys get home or you get, you know, to a point where you're alone. And you're like, well, the other day you said this and that. But today your friends and them or you just said something different. Like, and now it's a whole nother big story. Like, oh, yeah, because I forgot. Because when this, this and that happened. Like, no, he's not the one. He's a liar. He's going to continue to lie to you. And you have to really really be patient with this man to sit here and take that okay this could go on for months years however don't marry this man don't let this man sweep you off your feet and you know that he's a liar liars are toxic run from them okay sixthly my honeys you gotta watch them ones that's always following that bro code okay if you following a bro code and every time me and you have a conversation it's about the bros i don't want to hear that all the time okay clearly it's probably nothing to do with the bros my honeys it's all about them that they sitting there fraternizing with okay so they not gonna tell you that so they always gotta make up a story about the bros you know what i'm saying oh yeah because such and such told me well, 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 yeah because me and such and such yesterday was together and everything is to drape you my honeys it's gonna drape you off to believe that oh he was with thomas yesterday he, he ain't doing nothing else just be calm with it and be patient and just sit back and watch 
if this man is always talking about the fellas and this, 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 and that, if this man is making excuses to uh, leave with the fellas, y'all in the middle of a movie, y'all in the middle of a conversation, y'all just got done having sex, whatever it is, and he's like, oh, such and such just called me to come and uh, help him. He's not the one, my honey. It's somebody else. It ain't that bro, it's that, okay? So, watch them. Watch them type and make sure, my honeys, that you don't let these men run all over you and tell you whatever it is they think you want to hear. And even though they will do that, and you don't have no proof to say that they're doing anything wrong, right? You got to keep this in the mental in the back of your head and just be like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm not about to chase you out the house. We're watching a movie and you trying to go with the bros or help a bro out. Well, where are you going? We're watching a movie. Don't leave me. I'm not doing none of that, okay? I'm going to let this add up. So if all week went by and I'm going to count how many times you actually left me in the middle of a movie or whatever we was doing, date nights, whatever, I'm going to count it out. And I'm going to be like, oh, so last week you left me at least good seven times because your bros needed you. So what about when I need you? You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to just look at it. Sometimes you just got to sit back and be quiet and just let it happen. So out of everything I've already said, some things you speak on and some things you don't. Because when it hits that fan and when a woman is fed out, you already know the rest, my honeys. But he ain't the one. Seventhly, my honeys, if he thought that you would be okay with things that you're not okay with, he ain't the one. <laughs> Because if I can sit back and care so much about your feelings, why don't you care about mine? Okay, if I tell you that I'm vegan, and I know this is a dumb little scenario, my honeys, but I'm just trying to make it fit for everybody, okay? If I tell you that I'm vegan and I don't eat meat, I ain't ate meat in five years, okay? And you tell me you're Muslim and that you don't eat pork. I'm not even going to buy pork in my household, whether my kids eat it or whatever. You know, nobody's eating pork because my man don't eat pork, okay? Stuff like that. So I have took you to, into consideration, my honey. What's going on, you know? But then you're going to sit here and bring me lunch to work and it's some goddamn on meat, something, something, something. And you talk, dang, based on your little bit, it ain't nothing, just go ahead and eat it. And you know, and like you, you would sit there and try to feel like I'm going to break my vegan code because you made a mistake and forgot I was even vegan and brought me some meat. But I don't even purchase pork for my home no more because you is Muslim and don't eat pork? No, it doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. It is 2021 now. So that means that women are becoming more dominant. Okay, maybe back in them days, women was a little, okay, okay. You know, they shut their mouth. They Whatever that man said, it was going and not, not me. And not in 2021, my honeys, we about to get on board with them. You know, if you can't beat them, join them. Okay, so they're going to hate the fact that we can sit back and just not even say nothing and just peep them. Oh, he's a liar. <laughs> Oh, no. I, 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 mm -mm. Like, you could be able to just shoo them off before they think they even about to come to you because you're going to read. We're reading now. Like, oh, uh-uh. You don't consider my feelings. You don't consider what I want to do, how I want to do it, and what I actually do versus what I don't do. I can't deal with you. You're not the one. And on top of that note as well, my honey's like, you know, you got me and out here. I'm going to give you with just one more example. You got men out here nowadays because it's never all about you, okay? It's always you, her, her, and her, you know? So, at some point, it all comes to the light. Like, somebody's going to get to going through phones and calling females and it's done the third, okay? It's going to come to the light sooner or later, but by the time it does, you don't want to be so crushed from it. Like, oh, I put my all into this man, you know? So, you got to take a step back from that man. And if that man is making you do things that you normally don't do, but you thinking that that's going to make him love you more or want you more, like, let's just say, for instance, if this man is asking you to have a threesome, I don't want, I don't have threesomes. I don't because I don't like females, okay? I'm as straight as they get. I personally never jumped off the porch to that or was ever at all curious about it. So I am not going to see myself doing oral on another woman. I'm not. I don't see myself, um, you know, doing a lot of things with a woman. I don't. So for me to have a threesome with you, what would be, it would be a boring threesome because I ain't doing nothing. That means you and her got to go in on me. Because guess what? Kale's going to lay there just like that with us. You know, I'm not doing it. And that's that's probably pretty boring. Everybody's aroused and you ain't doing nothing. No, I'm not. So that means that if you're forcing, if I tell my man that and my man is still trying to force it, 
You're not the one because guess what? You cannot make me do something that I don't do. You cannot because you being uh, thirsty or whatever. I don't, you know, and then they'll trick you too, my honey. Well, you could pick it. Bring your friend. It, bring, you and one of your friends. Why would I want my friend to bang my man? Okay? Why would I want him to bring a girl that I don't even know? This could be the girl you've been cheating on me with. She just so happened to like females and I'm cute to her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't not. I'm not sharing nothing. So if you feel like you, that's what you gotta have, maybe I ain't the one for you because I'm not doing it. Number eight, number eight. So you got them men too, my honeys, that'll wine and dine you. Okay? They, all of them ain't always got their hand out. You got some of them that'll wine and dine you. Some of them that'll just buy you stuff, do this, do that, a woman won't. But they're not consistent. They're not consistent. Like, you couldn't get a hold of them at certain times of the day. You couldn't get a hold of them when you really wanted to and all this and that. You had to kind of wait till they surfaced up on you. You know what I'm saying? You may talk to them every day. Okay? Y'all may spend time here and there. Stuff like that. But it's never really on your time. It's always on his time. Okay? So, if you got a job and you work, you may not be able to do it on this particular day or this time. He's going to be like, oh, okay, well, I have to catch up with you on the next week. Why? What are you doing? You're showing interest in me and you are supposed to, we are supposed to be building a relationship at this point and you don't have time for me. He's not the one. He ain't building nothing with you. That's nothing to him. That man got money. He can go buy you whatever he wanted by you to just keep you quiet and you must got some good nookie. And that's why he's trying to still stick around you and keep you around because men don't let good ones go like that. Okay. They don't let it go. You may have some good aura or something. They're not about to let you go nowhere. Okay, they're going to keep you right there and they're going to string you along. Okay, now if you're happy with accepting gifts, but you don't actually have a man or a boyfriend out of this, you know, you just get gifts and good sex here and there, be fine with it, my honeys. Because if you go ahead and get involved with this, because, oh, he bought me this, he bought me that, now you just so in love. You're going to be heartbroken. He's not the one, okay? Because he has no intentions on making you anything to him other than what he wants for you to be to him, which is when he wants to make that time for you. But since y'all have done that and went there already, he knows what you're hitting for, so he ain't about to let you go nowhere. So, baby, he go to Apple Watch. Here go this, here go that. Okay, you're going to get everything but a dang on ring. So, you would be the type, oh, he buys me all this stuff. His birthday coming up. Let me go spend 1500 on his gift. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you're not sitting here asking that man to buy you nothing. And the fact that he's buying you all this stuff has not actually made him come settle down with you either. So you buying him a $1,500 gift, $800 gift, $200 gift, it's not about to make him come no quicker. Okay, that's on that man's time, not yours. So, don't go out here tremendously spending money, doing this, 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 and that, just because this man is getting you gifts or whatever. Be a little more than that. Want a little more than that, okay? Want them feelings to be fulfilled and stuff like that. Them thoughts that you got going in your head about this, man. Why is he buying all these gifts? But he don't come home every night and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, make him fulfill that stuff. Like, them gifts, okay, whatever. But I ain't about to go in and go hard for you until I have an understanding of what we're actually doing. I'm going to just keep accepting your gifts because guess what? You're not the one. Number nine, my honeys, if that man come around you and y'all having good quality time, whatever it is that y'all doing, but the only thing that he could talk about is the bros and they females. He's not the one because that means that your, your world is revolved around females. That means that you don't have just one female. You will never just have two females. You have multiple females because everything that you talk about is female. Like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, my dude tripping or whatever. He over there arguing with his girl. Oh, yeah, my dude, da -da -da, him and his baby mama got into it. Oh, yeah, da -da -da -da, man, him and his wife is over there going through it right now. Like, every trip, I don't care. I don't even know these people to care about him and his girl, him and his girl, and him and his girl. Like, I, what does that mean, my honey? He's like, you want to keep talking about everybody else's relationship issues, and you're not even sitting here building a real relationship with me. Okay, you're not even talking about the issues that I want to talk about with you when I bring up stuff and you want to run from it or blame me like I'm wrong. Okay, handle what you got in front of you because you're so worried about everybody else's or whatever. And I came to find out that all that means, my honeys, is that 
That man has other, a lot of things. He's very toxic. You need to stay away from him. He is definitely not the one. He is the one that's out here for the whole streets. He got that community D. Okay? Stay away from him. Okay? He's very toxic. If, if it's always some drama, especially with uh, his homies and his, they girls, stay away from him. He ain't to be played with. He is not for you. Period. And for number 10, my honeys, if a man is sitting back and he cannot express his true feelings, he ain't the one. And he ain't the one because he cannot even sit back and express to you what you mean to him. But the only thing that's stopping him from giving you his all is because he got other entanglements going on. <laughs> you know, Be a man about it and tell me. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you and I'm going to tell you what you're doing. I'm going to tell you exactly what you got going on. I don't know no details, but I know because I'm a reader. I know it's something and it got to be something that's playing out like this. Or it got to be something in this order. Because the way that you're acting, the way that it is. You know, you're not even showing this emotion to me or doing this, this, and that. And it's something because that means it's somewhere else. Or it could be spread it around in the community. Right? <laughs> so... I'm going to read you and I'm going to tell you what I think is going on. And then when you sit there and you're not expressing your true feelings, that means that you, you can't because I mean something to you. But then again, you do not want to hurt me and you don't want to tell me the truth. So you want to keep lying and keep lollygagging around my questions and all this and that and the third. And you're not expressing your true feelings. If we get into an argument or if the communication level gets good enough. And I'm like, oh, I almost got it. He almost about to say it. And then you shut down on me and then you leave and walk out and then and that. You ain't for me because you cannot admit the truth. Okay. A man should be able to admit to his woman or at least somebody he's trying to to be with or even want to be with you got to tell me something to keep me at ease and I ain't saying tell me anything I want to hear I'm saying tell me something pertaining to the thoughts that I'm shooting at you okay things that I want to know things that I'm kind of curious about I need you to comfort that if you can't comfort that that means whatever is going on is more important than me and guess what you lost me he get mad at you because you dead on you know you're dead on you get you like Hey, how she know that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And that makes him angry. And he will shut down and get mad at you so quick and make you feel like you have done something so terribly wrong of why he's about to go ahead and disappear somewhere and then go somewhere else and let one off, though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sitting here mad in tears or whatever I am, and you would leave me feeling like that? He's not for you. Period. So all these things is just adding up to this man not being for you. And would you really still sit back and waste your time to figure him out, calling other females, trying to worry about what he doing, and worry about your kids, and worry about your job, being there on time, and work? That's too much for my plate, okay? I got other things and real things to focus on instead of trying to be sitting here following somebody like I'm their mother or trying to pinpoint something now like I'm psychic and I'm not. I cannot do it, okay? You can't blame the next person, the next female. You can't blame anybody for what's going on with you, okay? These people may be the cause of why he ain't really showing or expressing true feelings for you but it's not their fault you can't go blowing down on these people and trying to fight and uh playing on their phone and this and that you're just petty okay at this point you're pressica you're pressica because you let stuff happen to you you're easy okay you're an easy target to a man you're the best yes girl there is out there if you sit here calling and playing on people's phone and and worrying about this man you are pressed honey and that means that it has went too far and that man has never been nothing more than a piece of meat for real but you took it over and beyond and made him your king and you looking dumb now we ain't trying to look dumb in 2021 okay we're switching it up we're reading and we about to get up out of that like i ain't about to even let my honeys go through nothing like that so i hope none of my honeys is the type that i just read off and then doing stuff like that but you do have them out here it's a bunch of pressicas out here and and believe me you honey i don't know what these men do to them but they it's, it's hard for them to let go
And it's sad. It's really sad because you got kids, you got other stuff. That, that attention and energy needs to be on other things. And you giving it all to this man. And guess what that does to that man? It make him hate you more. It make him push you away even more. Guess why? Because in his head, oh, she on my D. Oh, forget her. You know what I'm saying? They love that. They love that. That gives them energy. That gives them like a, like a woman beater. The more fear you show him, that gives him more ammunition to beat your way, right? <laughs> because it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's scared. And then, you know, they'll take off on you because you're the weakest link type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it's just, it's so many levels out here to these things. Like, don't give that man all that energy, okay, to be able to slap you in your face with it. Okay, he's just drawing it back. Every piece of energy you giving him, he's drawing it back. And at the end of the day, you didn't get him back from doing all of that, did you? And he like, pop! <laughs> Knocked you all back into the middle of the last year, right? You're dumb. Don't do it. Just leave it be, okay? Take the loss and move along. Do something to keep yourself busy, okay? It ain't got to be messing with multiple men. It don't have to be get going to get drunk to make him believe that you having all this excitement because he really probably doesn't care because he's in another relationship or, you know, he done took on the other uh, girl out of 20, okay? The 18th one out of 20. And you got knocked off the list because you were number 14. You know, I'm being funny to say, like, men be having multiple women, you know, and you done just got bumped off the list and you can't accept it. If you ain't got this man back, leave it alone because guess what? All that energy that you gave that man is pushing him further and further and further away when all you ever really had to do was act like you never cared. Over there crying like a baby though. He ain't got to know it. Okay? And if he pop up and call you because nine out of ten, he probably would. Okay? And you play it That's when you play it off like you somewhere that had a ball and hello? I could barely hear you. Hello? Who is this? Yeah, you done forgot about him and anything. Huh. Oh, that man would probably come right back like, dang. She living her little life without me. Let me let me try to get back with her. Yeah, you will get him back quicker doing that way than you would sitting here chasing him looking dumb. This day and age, my honeys, I feel like everybody's, you know, probably walking around having one night stands and... You know, stuff like that because there's no relationships. There's nobody out here for anybody, okay? If you find one, you're very lucky. You're very lucky. And then if you do um, find one, you know, you probably have to put in some work to get them. If I meet a guy and somebody tells me that they know him and, you know, and try to fill me in on him, like, mm, you know what I'm saying? He's not the one. I'm going to keep it moving on him. Unless, okay, unless... This man has actually sat here and showed me way different from what my friend is trying to say. And I'm not even going to say it has to be my friend. I'm just going to say, and generally, females. Like I said, at some point, us women, you know, we start being detective and we get to going through phones. So with that being said, you know, somebody that went through his phone or went through a phone, got my number, and then tried to call me. Okay? And... Oh, this dude, this, you talk to him now, da, 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 and you know, try to throw it rain on my parade or whatever, you know. But the whole time, I have been probably dealing with this guy. He hasn't gave me an issue. So, I don't know what you're talking about, honey. So, you go ahead, go and move it along, okay? I'm not giving no energy to that. But then again, you know, you got to go ahead and just look into the guy now. Like, so, why would she say that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And then you look into that, my honeys, and you keep things cute, and you just look, and you just observe, okay? Days go by, hours, maybe even minutes. You may see it on point, like, oh, yeah, I'm done. Like, you know, but however much time it would take for you to kind of realize he ain't the one, go ahead, you know, observe it, see what's going on with it, and if it is for you, then it's for you. And if it's not for you, you got to keep it moving because that ain't nothing but heartbreak. And that's what we run from, you know, being embarrassed or heart, heart being broke, stuff like that. So run. It's toxic. You don't want to deal with it, right? <laughs> However, you know, you may just go get you a little quickie and keep it moving because you know that these men is not right and it's not worth it. So <laughs> thank you. Have a nice day. You know, don't need your number or nothing. Like, you know, and then that's not safe all the time either. But guess what? That's what's going on this day and age when you sit here and meet a guy and think he's the one and then you give it to him and he leaves you. <laughs> okay? 
Same thing, same difference. Why get your feelings caught up and all involved or whatever? Go ahead and, and get your get your get yours off and keep it moving, just like they would do, because it's toxic for you to sit around and try to figure these men out. Everybody is always gonna have something to say and judge you, okay? Is it okay for a man to bang three different girls in one day and then his woman bang three different men in one week? Okay, and we're we're nasty. Like, come on now. Like, I'm not trying to hear that. If these men has not walked up to you, my honeys, and embraced you, okay, and tried to get you and get on with you, ain't no chasing. We ain't chasing nothing. You know, I could be standing in the line looking at this guy. Like, ooh, ooh, all this and that, right? Instead of me actually tapping him and saying something to him, he would have to say something to me. Now, by the time he turns around and notices me, it's like that type of flirtation. It's, it's really body language. It's not even looks. It's it's body language. Like if I know he's about to turn around, I just move my whole eyes to another little boom. I know he's going to look at me. I know he is. And it's body language. You know, it's just certain ways that you move and this and that. He know I'm looking at him, but I'm not looking at him. Guess what? Before that man would leave that store, he would ask you, hey, how you doing? You pretty? Or what's your number? Or, you know? Make him come to you. So by the time that man comes and approach me, and I'm already on the, mm -mm, I had it wrote down for you already. <laughs> I'm already on top of it, my honey, because I knew I wanted him, right? So once we do all of that, if that man is embracing you after that, and by the time y'all had y'all first phone call, and this, 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 and that, and it's going good. I sit there and say, hey, you trying to get a bottle later? Hey, you trying to uh have some drinks later? Hey, uh, you smoke? Hey, uh, you got some friends for my for my dude, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? If this man is just, that's nonsense. That's nonsense, especially when you're talking to a woman, okay? And I don't care if you're 19, you're 18, okay? Because this is for 18 and over. 18 and up, you are a woman, honey. You're not a girl, you're not a child. You are a woman, period. And as a woman, it's just things that you do and you do not do, okay? So you cannot sit here and call me, okay, as fine as I thought you was, you sit here and calling me about a dang on bottle, about a friend for your friend. I don't even have friends, no, I don't. Like, that's a turn off to me, okay? That's a turn off and it's kind of already like, he may be a good candidate for my one night stand or something like okay that that would be all so you can read this stuff my honey you can read if he would be the one if he would just be a hit or if he would just be you know you could you need to start opening your eyes and reading because nothing is going to fall in your lap and it's not just going to happen like that okay it's not because you cute or you got a fat butt that this man is just about to be all over you because he's not okay he's going to get what he want and he is gone and guess what your feelings is still stuck where he left you it. And you're looking dumb. We're not looking dumb in 2021, okay? We're not doing it. We're going to sit here and we're going to advance ourselves and we're going to be on top of it and we're going to start reading these men, okay? You got to read these little signs or whatever. If you like videos like this, my honey, you make sure you leave that in the comments because you know I can go on and on and on or whatever how you going to read and do all of that, okay? So leave me a comment and let me know if you would like you know, to hear more about this and even how I did because this is like a little new type of thing I wanted to do. So lastly is this, okay? You have, it's, it's different type of women out here, okay? You got your yes girl. That's the girl that is always available to a man, you know? Hey, give me a rental. Hey, hold my dope. Hey, uh, can I come do this, 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 and at your house? Like, okay, 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 okay. No, you cannot. No. Not holding that, not catching cases for you. Not getting no rental when you put all these tickets off in my name. Not doing it. So, yeah, them is yes girls. Whatever that man asks her for, it's always a yes. And guess why she's saying yes? She's saying yes because at some point, this man is going to love me and this man is going to marry me because I'm always there for him. No, he's not. You're being used. Now, you the one going to be used for the rentals, okay? You the one used for the head because you Becky, you got it. Okay, you the one that's used for this, 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 and that. Like, it's always something. These men will sit here and have 20 different women. Did y'all know that? Okay, and everybody is good for something. That's sad. That is sad. And you don't want to be one of the women that's good for something. I bet you that. 
Don't come over here talking about I'm good for cooking. Or, you know, I don't want to hear it. So I'm reading. I'm reading before it ever gets to that point. And if I found out about the 19 other ones, I ain't already deep in and feelings hurt. No, I'm reading the whole time. So you can never get me like that. Then you have your girls that's like me. They tough. They're thick skinned. Okay. okay. This is very intimidating to a man. A woman that knows what she wants. Her ego is all the way there. You can't play her. You can get nothing past her. Okay, you cannot just tell her what she want to hear and she's going for it. Okay, like I have had things happen in my life that has built me up until this point. Okay, I wasn't always like this, but I learned from mistakes, honey, and it took me one time and I knew. Okay, I would never want to go through that again. Heartbreak? Yeah. Who, me? No, I would never want to go through that again. Okay, uh, this is this up. Oh, never would want to go through that again. Abusive flesh? Up. Oh, would never want to be getting my butt whipped by a man again. Like, I'm learning from it. I'm not diving back into it and keep allowing it to happen to me. So, the more I learn from things that I have already went through in my life, it's just the better that it's making me, okay? It's intimidating to men, so I wouldn't find a man as quick as I would want to because I'm intimidating, okay? I, I have a look about me. Mm -hmm. Like my honeys, y'all always see me smiling and, you know, making my little videos, doing my little hair, my makeup, and all. but in this real world... It's a whole demonstration with this face. I'm a Gemini, honey. I know how to turn it on and off. So with that being said, when I'm talking to somebody, I don't have to blink my eyes. I don't have to do none of that. I'm focused on you. And guess what? That's intimidating. Because you like, dang, is she going to blink? Is she going to stop looking at me like that? What am I going to do? All these thoughts is going through your head right now because the way that I'm looking at you, I feel like I'm being adamant with you and I feel like I'm serious with you. Right? <laughs> So that's intimidating. Some men like aggressive women, though. Some men like, I'm not aggressive, though. I'm just intimidating because I can meet you and know in that first week you're not the one. That's just me because it's like a, okay, uh, you telling me all these good things. You buying me stuff. You doing all this and that on day one and two, three. Okay, now that would make me think, oh, okay, you like me. Mm -hmm. But then I'm calling you to go to the movies or do something because that's what I like to do. I, ha I like to have dates and stuff, you know. We can't just come to the house all the time and lay in the bed and watch TV and do all No, I like to go out and be seen with my man, okay. I like to dress like my man. We're twins, okay. When you with kids, you're my twin. So stuff like that, you know. If I don't see what I like out of you, you're not the one for me, you know. So if I'm calling you on day four or five, maybe a uh, month two, let's go do this down the third. Why can't you come do it? What's the problem? Like, you know, stuff like that reads to me and I'm done. Okay, my honeys, if you've made it this far, that means I got your attention. And that definitely means that I'm saying something right. Okay, I know what I'm talking about. So, with this being said, here go this bonus for you guys to know how to have a successful relationship so you won't be that yes girl getting no. played. At that point, my honeys, this is what you need to do as far as being your own woman and reading and all of that, okay? This is some things that will help you to be a good reader. When you're dealing with these men, don't ever give your all. You give them just enough to show them that you're capable of being more than what they want you to be. Okay, so if they just wanted you to be a bang, okay, you give them enough to show them, like, this ain't that. I'm not just banging you. <laughs> okay, you either going to come with something more than that or nothing at all. So that's what giving them, not giving them your all gets you. Okay, it makes them dig a little deeper on you and, and give you a little more emotion-wise. And sometimes, my honey, it's okay. Ignore that man. Okay? Ignore him. You cannot wait. Everybody know when you meet you a new boo. That phone is like, what? Wait, this is my boo calling. What? Where you at? You know, you... Cloud nine. You was in cloud nine. Every time a man call, you're not skipping no beats. You about to answer that phone. You know what I'm saying? Ignore his butt. Nah. We're not about to ask her every call. We're not doing it. Okay, you're busy sometimes, too. Don't make yourself too available to that man. Because that's that yes girl. You don't want to be this yes girl, okay? They get ran over. The man is running all over yes girls. You don't want to be her. So, go ahead and ignore him a little bit. You feel me? So, if you calling each other five times a day, give them two. New relationships is calling maybe 20 times a day. 
Okay, give them 10. Okay, so if day one, two, three, four was like, okay, 20 times a day, start breaking it down. Maybe five times. Start not being available. You know what I'm saying? You still gonna see that man every day. You still gonna, you know, be doing little things that y'all do, but you're not making yourself too available for him. You're ignoring him from time to time, and he needs that to know what he's missing. If you're always available, you're a yes girl. That means he ain't missing nothing. She do whatever I tell her to do. Like, if I, if I call her right now, she gonna answer. Watch. Don't answer. And guess what he gonna do? Now he's wondering, what I think? What's she doing? She got shit going on? And she messing with me and she got shit going on? Why she ain't answer? Now his mind going. That's what we want. We trying to get a reaction out of the man. Don't give them everything because you will never get a reaction. Right. Start being fake busy. Okay? Start being fake busy. Oh. Dang, babe, I forgot I had a client um, to do later. <laughs> okay. Mm, I'm booked all week. I can't make it. Yeah. Start being fake busy. Start, you know, diving in on not having time anymore. All right. All right. Now that man is really curious. Damn, she went from that to I can't even get her to. Yeah, that's going to make that man start the chase. He wants you. I got to get her back how she was. I need her to be on call, honey. What's going on? Like, now he want to figure out why you ain't on call. Okay? <laughs> why? Is she, is she ignoring me? Is she with another dude? Now he's wondering. His mind is racing. That's what we want. Okay? And that's how you're going to get that reaction out of him. That's how you're even going to get a little bit of love. That's how you're going to get some truth. That's how you're going to get everything you're looking for these men that they're not giving us, okay? It's just by falling back sometime and just observing, okay? You sitting there ain't doing nothing. You see them calls coming through, you ain't answering, okay? You done told this man you booked and busy or whatever. You sitting right there seeing them calls coming through and you ain't doing nothing. You got to do that sometime and you're observing him. That's what you're doing. You're observing him, seeing how much he really likes you. If that man don't chase you, if that man don't come for you, or, okay, babe, well, is it something I can do for you, you know, to get time from you? He ain't the one. He is not the one. If he like, all right, cool, she gone, she busy all day, I'm going to go chill with the old girly. He ain't the one. Why he ain't calling? You just told him you was busy. You just told him, you know, you were ignoring him. He ain't um calling you. He ain't um, wondering what's going on. Usually every day, every, every hour, you're all talking. But three hours went by, y'all ain't talking. And he ain't called you? Because you didn't answer? Oh, yeah, he ain't the one. Maybe it's the woman that's not right. And everything that I'm saying could relate to a man, too. Men can use this on women. The woman is, you know, thick-skinned like me. And uh, see how that'll work for you. You know, maybe y'all done had a, 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 a falling out because, you know, you found something out or something was just fishy and you was just like, oh, I'm not I'm not going for it. Who is she? Every time you come with this excuse or every time you try to make me seem like I did something wrong or every time, you know what I'm saying? I ain't falling for it no more. Who is she and what's going on? And now he don't want to talk about it or now it's an argument and now instead of him actually just being a man and communicating and being honest because he he's starting to like you or he love you, he get mad and leave. And you just leave me hanging with these thoughts and not telling me nothing and I'm supposed to be okay with that? Oh, blocked. You're blocked. And guess what? You're blocked and you're too. we're too far in at this point. I don't care if it's a week. You know in a week if a guy's for you or not, period. Okay, but um, we too far in for me to block you and you not try to reach back out to me some way, somehow. If you ain't blowing my phone up private, you ain't the one. Okay, I'm going to block you and I'll block you for a whole week. And then you're going to sit there and be like, dang, this, this, she got me blocked. And you don't know for sure, so you're going to call me private. And I'm not going to answer. And then I'm going to let it ride like three private calls or something. Then I'm going to pick up. Hello. Like nothing's going on. Hello. Hey, you got me blocked or something or whatever. No, why you say that? I mean, it's going straight to voicemail. Da, da, da. Oh, I don't know. My phone been ringing all day, so I don't know. You know, now he trying to figure you out. <laughs> What's going on with this phone, girl? You got me blocked and you ain't trying to tell me. But that's what you want. He's showing interest. He's showing something, okay? You got to be strong and keep it going. You liking this, though. Like, mm, he called. <laughs> Boom. Now, once that conversation is over, 
He's going to try to keep contacting you. He's blocked. He's going to try to keep contacting you and you're going to sit there and do what, my honeys? Ignore him. You would think like, dang, if I don't answer this call, he ain't going to call back and he ain't going to mess with me no more. And Don't think about that. Oh, well, what does that mean? He's not chasing you. He's not putting up a fight for you. He doesn't really care. Okay, he he going over there to uh, Tracy and them right now because he already has stuff lined up. You were just in the Rasta. Okay, my honeys. So don't be fooled by it. And then what? When you do answer, man, where you at? What's up? Pull up. You're busy. Stay busy. Fake busy, right? You're fake busy. Over here helping my mom. Whatever you got to be doing. If you want to make him a little jealous, you know. Oh, I came to this party with my friend or whatever. Um, It's her brother's birthday. If you say her brother's birthday, you know he like, oh, it's niggas over there. It's dudes over there. Like, you know, at this point right here, my honey, is when you should know, is this man fighting for you? Does this man even care at this point? Does this man, has this man learned his lesson to make me feel like he wants what I want at this point? Okay, he's starting to see how life would be without me. How is that changing him? Did he change for me? You know what, baby? I just, you know what? I can't. I can't do it without you. What's up? Let's do this. You know, that's what you want. You want that man to come to you and be direct on that with you. Instead of you always nagging him, talking about, and what did you, and I wasn't your fault, and da, 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 and da, da, da. that's aggravating. That's aggravating because, I don't know, I think I was hurt. I have learned from that. Or whatever with Tom Capone. I was the nagger because I was young. I didn't know nothing about it. I thought love was love. You said you love me. I love you too. Why? Where did she come? Why is she in the picture? Like, I didn't know. And then I had got a relationship where a boy was nagging me. I'm talking nagging me like I knew I was nagging somebody before and it's aggravating. I don't like it. So I swore to myself I would never nag a man. I would never. So what happened and why you do? I would never do that. I would never chase you. I would never nag you. Okay? I would never even... If you just left me out the blue, I would never even come try to find you or figure out what happened, why, and what. Yeah, my feelings will be crushed. Okay? You won't get that uh, energy from me. You won't even... You you don't know it. To you, I don't care. And I don't. Guess what? I'm going to move on. And I'm going to find me a rebound dude. And I'm going to bang the mess out of him until I get over it. Moving along. Okay, thick skin. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not about to sit here and let my feelings be on the line looking dumb. Okay, and then somebody get me all pumped up and then I just go flatline without him. Like, and I know you ain't nothing and I had to find out all this, 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 and that. No. You make that man chase you, my honey. You make that man want to put up a fight about you. I want her. I like her little feisty butt. Oh, I like, uh, you know, make that man want you. Quit being so available. Don't be a yes girl. It's not going to get you nowhere, okay? Because these men, they will use you till it ain't nothing left. And then you will sit back and they be wondering, like, why he leave me for her? What's so much better about her? Why she got him and I don't? And I did all this. I did the most for him. You gave him the threesome. You let him record you while y'all was having sex. You, uh, okay, all of the and above for that man. And he over here with me, I had to do nothing. <laughs> like literally nothing okay but play my position and do exactly what I sat here and tell my honeys to do okay if you try it out okay you will see a big difference in the men because men have soft spots too it's not all about men being hard and having that upper hand or whatever they got them soft spots too and you just got to know how to read it and how to also find it okay and once you get it you will have no issues with that man, okay? That man will be right there in the palm of your hand because you're a good girl, okay? You're a good woman. Like, literally, we all got something to offer. And no man is taking time to even see what we actually have to offer, okay? They just in it to win it for one thing or whatever, you know? Like I said, you got her for this, her for this, and her for that. Don't make yourself so available to that, and that way you won't get played, okay? And the fact that a man is out here playing you, it doesn't mean that it's my fault that I have him now because we are two different people, okay? I don't know about you. You clearly didn't know about me, but you sure found out because you was going through that phone, right? So once you found out about me and you got the calling, if you got to sit here and call any other chick about your man, he was never your man to begin with, and guess what? He ain't for you. 
So bottom line to this video, my honeys, okay? It was fun talking about that, okay? It's like when I wasn't making a video, I had everything that, that I knew I was gonna say, but now that I'm in front of the camera, I'm like, dang, dang, what I was gonna say? Cause I know I had some good stuff. Oh, it was juicy. But I feel like this was pretty juicy, you know? This it's the beginning, it's the first one. At this point of the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 uh. The next one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. Mm.